Pope Francis cautions Vatican staff that a quote unquote elegant demon is among them. On December 22nd, in his annual Christmas greeting from the Roman Curia, Pope Francis warned cardinals, bishops, and priests working in the Holy See to beware of the demon that lurks among them. According to the Pope, this demon is a quote-unquote elegant demon that works in people with a rigid and holier-than-thou attitude when living the Catholic faith. Pope Francis had used his Christmas addresses to reprimand the clergy annually, replicating the experience of the Jesuit-style, quote, examination of conscience. Uh, the, this year's address was no different in tone, repeating his critique of different kinds of abuse that even the most religious uh, commit. He told the Vatican bureaucrats that by living in the heart of the Catholic Church, quote, we could easily fall into the temptation of thinking that we are safer, better than others, no longer in need of conversion. He also used the word we many times, therefore including himself in the list of people who should be conscious of the devil in their midst. So, okay, here's the thing. This news is really about him just saying, talking about a demon kind of in a more metaphorical sense. But I think people really caught on to just the idea of the Pope talking about demons in general, and they want, they wanted to stick with that. So what does it mean, elegant demon? What does it mean exactly? It, uh, think of it as like an allegory for like pride and self-righteousness, essentially. Wait, so does the Pope not believe in literal demons? He does. So I don't think... Technically, I don't think that, to be a Catholic, you, you kind of have, have to. to. Yeah. Yeah. So when you do believe in real demons, when you refer to demons, you're not using it as a metaphor. You're referring to actual demons. Based on the way that this was reported, though, it seemed allegorical. But you can't. That would be anti-Catholic, especially you coming could, from you the You could Pope. believe in real demons then also talk about demons allegorically. That would be... I don't know about how the standards are in Catholic Church, but like that would be against like if you're referring to demon and you believe in demons, you're referring you you have to use those words to actually mention demons. So what what makes you think what do you that mean he's you not... have to? Who made that rule? You can't have both well, available to you as a, a literary device. There's no well, rule I mean, that says that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm using my understanding of how many conservative Muslims talk about these things. So I mm. was just wondering if that applies to Catholic religion as well, right? But I don't know. So you could be, be basically believe in literal walking, talking, physical demons. You believe in that. And then at the same time, you as the Pope talk about demons and not talk about, you're not talking about those, even though you do believe those things are real. What makes you, again, think that he was saying this was metaphorical? Because he's referring to it as people who have prideful self-righteousness caused by demons well, the elegant demon not caused by demons the elegant mm. demon amongst them is this demon of of of, of whole of a holier than thou at a holier than thou out attitude mm. okay mm. well i've never have you ever heard somebody refer to a demon as elegant? Yeah, why not? I mean, no, that that's part of not, how no. they work, right? They're they're they're, they're they can be seductive. No, that's not my question. My you. question is, have you ever heard that before? Like, like, have you ever heard the, the elegant demon before? This is my first time. Like in my real life, or just like described in literature? Have you ever heard it being <laughs> described anywhere ever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, elegant demon. Okay. Um, yeah, you think of like a succubus, right? Like she's like elegant, seductive. Like okay, I think you're misunderstanding the question. I don't. I said I didn't. I'm not asking if there are. Have you heard of elegant demons? Demons that are elegant. I just said like the phrase elegant demon. Have you heard that ever been used ever before? Oh, verbatim? Yes. Not that I can recall. <laughs> okay, that's my point. Like, this, this just seems weird. I don't know. It's just, okay. <laughs> I like it, though. I like it. Can we do a drawing with blasphemous art of an elegant demon? 
Oh, I'll have like, to think about what that would look like. I like, like D's very, comment. She's saying demons are on a spectrum. Okay, they yeah. can be allegorical. They can be literal. Okay, who are we to decide? Mm. Mm. One thing that I thought was funny was the Associated Press was talking about um, how Pope Francis uses his Christmas addresses to talk about problems within um, the church, and they literally called it Pope Francis's annual dressing down. <laughs> why and that was hilarious to me because i was thinking about how in who's, the show wait, who seinfeld, said that? the associated press the associated press like that's their title that was their title no it wasn't the title it was within uh, the article in the article about annual dressing down annual dressing down associated press amazing I didn't, yeah I that stuck with that. me and it yeah, reminded yeah. me how in seinfeld you know the character of george's dad has festivus and with and he doesn't have christmas okay he has festivus instead of a tree you have a pole and their tradition is the airing of grievances instead of saying you're thankful or, for something you air your grievances to the other members of your family <laughs> and so it reminded me his annual christmas dressing down i'm like oh my god i didn't know pope francis had an airing of grievances for festivus <laughs> By the way, this uh, no man is giving us a good um, idea for the art. We need an elegant demon with the Pope. Mm. Let's do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be good. That would be good. Oh yeah, so it's hard to make the Pope sexy though. Mm, we don't have to make the Pope sexy. You could just make the demon sexy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.